Ladies and gentlemen, all you beautiful people around the world, my name is Ryan and you guys are watching Some For All and check it out. You guys see it on the screen. You guys see the video title. No need for explanations, but I'm about to explain it anyways. We have Midoriya 2. He has finally been revealed. He's finally been leaked. Well, not really leaked. I guess just previewed uh, because the official <laughs> My Hero Academia Jasko Games uh, CCG uh, Facebook posted this, so it's not really a leak, but they went ahead and gave us the preview for set number two, Azuku Midoriya, and I want to talk about him in today's video. So, right off the bat, the first thing that stood out to me was the card art. Um, I mean, it's I, it's I, it's a weird angle, it's okay, maybe it'll look better in person, you know, maybe like the shininess of it, it will look good and all, but not a big, big fan of the card art. But with that being said, the second thing that my eyes automatically drew to was that Earth symbol. Because I was just like, oh man, Earth is already nutty. And then Midori is going to have access to some nutty stuff. But with that being said, let's get into it. They also had a thing where if they reached 100 comments, they would show Battle Resolve. Another card that's also going to be in set 2. And we will be talking about both of them. So first, let's talk about Izuku Midoriya. So he is a 6 hand size 29 HP character with an enhanced. Discard one card, your punch gets plus 1 speed and plus 3 damage. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Of course, obviously you're losing one card, but depending on how you build Izuku Midoriya, obviously you have access to good in terms of his symbol package because he's earth, good, and life. Um, life has some draw power, good has some draw power, so you'll be able to add cards to your hand. So hopefully that won't be too much of a hindrance. Um, but again, obviously with Earth, you have some pretty nutty stuff as we get into that response. But yeah, discarding one card, giving your punch attack, plus one speed, plus three damage, can be pretty cool. But the response is something that's really, really interesting. Once per turn, commit one foundation. After you check a copy of a foundation that is in your stage, build that check foundation. Now, this is pretty interesting because, of course, obviously, if Azuku Midoriya isn't committed, you can go ahead and use that effect, right? Doesn't matter if it's your turn or your opponent's turn. And so since it's one per, once per turn, would you be able to do this on your turn and your opponent's turn? Because say you have to do your control check, right? Like say your opponent is attacking you, they want to punch you in the mouth, then you're like, all right, my turn to play blocks now. I go ahead and block, oh, I need to check a six. Oh wait, hold on, I just checked this foundation that I already have in my staging area. Let me go ahead and move it to my stage. I mean, that is pretty sick. You could do it once per turn, so I would assume once on your turn, once on your opponent's turn, of course, obviously you have to commit one foundation as well in order to use it, so it's like, it kind of bounces out. But in a way, you're able to build up your staging area pretty quickly. So yeah, I don't know, I like this. Now, do I think he's better than current Midoriya like Midoriya 1 I think so just because like Midoriya 1 is like like he has a really really good effect but Midoriya 1 is so hard to win with he's so hard to use he's really situational I feel like Midoriya 1 is more for fun bars um I feel like Midoriya 2 seems like a deck that you can actually build around I feel like if I was to play Midoriya if I was a Midoriya fan I would pick this Midoriya over Midoriya 1. But you guys let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys like Midoriya 2? Do you guys think it's better than Midoriya 1? Are you guys excited if you're a Midoriya fan? Let me know. But now let's go ahead and talk about Battle Resolve. Now Battle Resolve is a foundation with the same symbols of course. And it's a zero diff. That's always good. Spammable foundations is always good foundations. And right off the bat because it's zero. Um, and it's a spammable foundation, you're probably going to want to play four of these bad boys. And because you're playing four of those bad boys, you're probably going to be seeing them in control checks and already have one in your stage. So you can go ahead and use a Zuku Midoriya and add one to your stage as well. But Battle Resolve, what does it do? It has two effects. First effect, response, commit. So you got to commit the Battle Resolve. Flip. After you lose health, gain one health. Okay. Okay, okay interesting interesting now the enhance commit two copies of this foundation and again something you should be able to do with azuku midoriya right because of course you'll be able to get another copy of this in there you can commit two copies of this foundation this attack gets plus three or minus three speed 
Now, if I'm being completely honest, what comes to mind for me? <laughs> I'm thinking about the life symbol. I'm thinking about the life symbol and I mean the earth symbol is pretty cool too but the life symbol just makes me think about Aoyama as well. I don't know like especially because we're also getting Aoyama um, support in the uh, DLC the second wave of DLC. Uh, I'm hoping that obviously because I'm just thinking right like with battle resolve commit flip after you lose health gain one health. So like you can commit and flip this and then obviously you have the ability to use um, trade chick cape um, the asset for what's his name? Uh, what's that guy's name? Aoyama. How did I forget? He's my favorite deck in set one. and <laughs> I forgot his name. Um, but you could do that on earth or on life actually because um, life and earth are both symbols on Aoyama if I'm not mistaken. Um, because yeah, I believe he's death life and earth and if that's the case then it actually gets pretty interesting because like if you do go on earth you have things like apathetic that you could also use and um in terms of like flipping and whatnot you got the super regens things like that so that's pretty cool um so i'm thinking about aoyama that could be something that's really interesting but, um, and then there's like, you know, this can also give you a little extra juice. It's another spamble foundation that you can put in that deck. I don't know. So I'm pretty excited on that front. And then obviously because he's going to get support regardless, um, there'll be more things for him. Um, and then as a result, because Midoriya is going to be getting support like in this set, um, and we know his symbols and two of his symbols are shared with Aoyama. Um, I think it's safe to assume that, um, pretty much a lot of the cards in this set are going to also help my Aoyama deck. So I'm very excited on that front for me personally. Um, but yeah, in terms of Izuku Midoriya, like what's the best way to build him? I don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what people cook up. Uh, obviously he is going to have the punch package, right? Which is obviously very strong. You see his effect there. Your punch attack gets plus one speed, plus three damage. Then of course you can commit two copies, give it plus three speed or minus three speed if you're on the defensive end versus offensive end. Um, so obviously he has access to the punch package. Um, he's good, he's earth, so he can use every punch in the game basically. Um, I think literally every punch in the game is either earth or good. So, um, so yeah, I mean, overall, for me, my opinions, this Azuka Midoriya, not bad. I personally think he's better than Midoriya 1, and in terms of the other card, I think it's a really cool card. It's a spamble foundation. By all means, that's great. My biggest takeaways is I'm excited because we're going to be seeing some new cards very soon. I'm super excited for um, for uh, Dobby, who is definitely going to be my main deck once uh, his cards come out and all that. I can't wait for that. Um, but also because I'm, I'm also really excited because now that we know the symbols for Azuka Midoriya and he shares a lot of symbols with Aoyama um, I feel like I'll be able to get some more stuff to hopefully make my Aoyama deck a little bit better But let me know are you guys excited for this Midoriya? I don't know if we're getting new reveals every day because if we are then I will continue to make videos every day um, But I'm assuming because we got Midoriya I'm assuming we're probably gonna get Todoroki and then we're gonna get Ida as well um, for the next couple of reveals Oh, man, I just wish, I wish that they would go, like, hero, villain, hero, villain, hero, villain. You know what I mean? Like, if they went Midoriya, and then they went Stain, right? And then they went Todoroki, and then they went Dobby, or something like that. Or no, what they would probably do is they would probably do Midoriya, Toga, um, then Todoroki, Dobby, and then um, Ida, and Stain. And damn, Ida's going to have three cards already. There'll be three Idas already. That's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But we probably won't see any more Idas for a while going forward now that I think about it after set two. But anyways, jumping ahead of myself, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys tomorrow if there's another reveal. Stay tuned. Peace.